So the next thing that we want to talk about here are, we've kind of talked about these different molecules, we've analyzed them a little bit, but how can we characterize this metal ligand bond? And what's the driving force for it to form? And how would we kind of characterize this bond? So typically, we have some type of metal cation. We'll say it's MN plus, plus some type of ligand. And I'm going to draw the ligand here with a lone pair of electrons on it. That's going to give us some type of ML complex where it's typically positively charged. It can be positively charged, it can be negatively charged, depending on the ligand. But basically, how these bond forms and the driving force between them is the metal, we can say, is a Lewis acid, which means it's going to be an electron pair acceptor. The ligand we can characterize as a Lewis base, which is an electron pair donor. So when you add a Lewis acid and a Lewis base, you get this complex ion. And the bond that's formed between these compound com in this complex ion is called a coordinate covalent bond. And typically, in general chemistry, when we looked at the bonds that formed in, back in the early chapters of our textbook, we either characterized something as ionic or covalent. But in reality, there's a continuum between the ionic and the covalent bonds. So in this particular case, this is a quote-unquote special type of covalent bond that in most cases, covalent bonds form between a nonmetal and a nonmetal. Notice that when we say this is a coordinate covalent bond, it happens between a metal, which is in generally in the transition metal block, and it happens between a ligand, which is typically a nonmetal. Okay, so here we have a metal nonmetal bond that's actually a covalent bond. And we kind of give that a special characterization, and we call it a coordinate covalent bond. But like I said, saying a bond's ionic or covalent is kind of a black and white definition. Really, there's a continuum between, you know, a bond's ionic nature versus its covalent character. When these bonds come together, we typically can form various complex ions. 